I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. What an exciting pepper. You know, with the channel, what ends up happening um, so often with uh, what I do is that it's the quest to find the hottest thing available. And it's just kind of how I'm wired. But the reason I'm excited about this pepper, because it's a cross between two of my favorite peppers that really are the just amazing, stellar, world-class peppers, undeniably. It's a ghost pepper crossed with a cayenne. Now, the grower um, is Jeff Remmert. I'm going to put the link in the description box. He has some that are in the process of ripening up, so if you want to get some of these, get your name on the list. Here it is, the, a ghost pepper crossed with a cayenne. So now, a lot of times when we... Uh, what crossing peppers, it seems to be, part of it's my fault for this channel because I'm always looking for the hottest thing. It's always like, well, let's, let's make a hotter pepper, hotter pepper. Obviously, if you cross a ghost with a cayenne, you aren't looking to make a hotter pepper. You're looking to change the flavor of that. So now I've eaten a ton of these dried. And I mean, I'll, I'll have ramen noodles. I'll have, I have a box of them. I got these from Jeff and I'll grab a handful, and just crunch them up and drop them in some ramen. They're amazing dried. They really are, but I'm really excited for this because this is the first time I will be eating one of these that's fresh. So that's always exciting. So let's uh, cut this thing open. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take a picture for uh, Instagram just because it's just one of the most unique peppers. Sorry, guys. All right, so I'm gonna cut this thing open now. We'll take a look at the inside. I'm psyched to eat this because I know what they taste like dried. I'm just really can't wait to taste what, oh, what a cool interior. Are you kidding? Wow. Okay, so oh, it smells so amazing. Ah. Oh. Now I think Ghost has kind of a unique smell. Aroma. And I'm not picking up a ghost in this, but wait till you see the interior. It's so cool looking. Look at that. The interior of a ghost crossed with a cayenne. Isn't that beautiful? Vein, completely uniform. A vein runs up the entire length of the pod. A, a small number of seeds. Now, as I said, he got this, he, the seed stock came from Tomas Belain. So uh, what I think, let's, let's talk about what I think is going to happen with this. I think what's going to happen is it's going to be, it's going to change the, the flavor a lot. It's going to be less heat than a ghost pepper. Um, I kind of have a, a bit of an idea because I've had the dried pods, but the fresh pod is going to be very interesting. All right, so here it is. A ghost crossed with a cayenne. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the What an interesting pepper. So, um, before I ate it, I was wondering, is it gonna be like a ghost with the effect of the cayenne, or is it gonna be a cayenne dominantly with the effect of the ghost? It's the second. Um, I taste more cayenne in that than I taste ghost, but it's just much hotter than a cayenne would be. That said, it's not. It's lower than a normal ghost. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes, and uh, you know what we're gonna do? box of pots. Excuse me. I have so many peppers in my fridge, it's ridiculous. Okay, I got another one. Let me eat the second one here. Just because it really is a tasty pepper. Now, this is a great pepper. So, you know, I, one question I get a lot, <clears throat> like an awful lot, is where do you go from habanero? Ghost is, is one of those stair-stepping plateau kind of peppers. But this is a great pepper. If you like cayenne and you like ghost, 
This is a beautiful pepper. Am I sweating? It's crazy. And the very the first pepper, there was a little bit of sweetness. Now here's the thing that's different about this. If you have fruity on this side and earthy on this side, it's right about here. A little bit, but you can definitely taste fruitiness in this. Whereas when I eat a ghost pepper, just a plain ghost pepper, I'm not really picking up fruitiness. Very tasty pepper. I'll tell you something. I've used them dry in a lot of different foods. This would be a great pepper to cook with. I would. This is what I would say. If you're somebody who has a thing for cayenne or for ghost, then you need to be trying this pepper. It is just fantastic. It's great if you dry them. In fact, hang on. Here is a dried cayenne ghost, okay? And uh, you know what? Here. Certainly very different. Very interesting. Dried, um, it tastes more earthy. Like I said on the scale, it's about here. When you dry them, it's about there. Far more fruity on the fresh pods than the dried pods. But seriously, this is a pod where if you're a fan of cayenne, you need this. Let's talk about the heat. If you're somebody who's never eaten anything hot, this is a problem pepper for you. It would be too hot. You wouldn't taste the things that I'm tasting. If you're a chili head and you like hot stuff, okay, so this would be probably a... I can see somebody with a ripping uh, tolerance say it's a four, but I can see somebody that's a chili head calling it a seven or eight. You know, it depends on where you're at. I mean, there's some chili heads that really aren't called the chili heads at heart, but they're somewhere around jalapeno level. It would be kind of warm for them. It's still a great pepper though. It's a fantastic pepper, great flavor, great finish, great little burn as far as the, the quality of the burn, it was more well, think of it like this. It sort of had had the build of a ghost pepper, uh, the slow creeping build, but a lot less than a normal ghost. A ghost would climb to here and then come down. This climbed about here, but the same sort of even climb. All right, so the ghost, uh, the, the burn characteristics are ghost-like, but it's not as hot as a ghost. The flavor is cayenne dominant, and that's my take on that. So if you'd like some of these, these are a terrific pepper. I'm talking to the media, the mid-level chili heads. The chili heads are just starting out, or if you just if you want something that's just an absolute tasty, really incredible, unique pepper. I mean, ghost and cayenne, what a great combination. Go to the description box. You're going to see a link for my friend Jeff Remert. Okay, um, he just messaged me moments before I did this video, so I'm not quite sure. It's raining right now, so I'm not sure if he. Uh, I think he said it's raining, so he doesn't check to see how how they are. Let me see what he said. Yeah, it's been raining today, so he hasn't looked yet. But he's going to go out and check. So if you'd like to get your hands on some of these ghost cayenne, go to the description box. By the way, the burn um, was on the middle of my tongue in the back, towards the back of my tongue. That's where the burn was focused. All right, so please check those out. If that's, that's a fantastic pepper. If you're a chili head, you like those two peppers, you need it. Right there is the pepper. Click that pepper, um, and you're riding with me. And if you don't want to miss a video, there are a couple things you can do to avoid it. First of all, hit notifications, right? And then you can select all, okay? But ultimately, if you just visit us daily, you won't miss anything because sometimes they don't send out notifications. It is what it is. Um, if you want to get some content over and above the normal stuff, get your bus pass. It's $4.99, and there's a lot of very interesting content there. Aftermaths that you don't see on the regular channel. So if you want some unique content, get your bus pass. Hit the tab that says join. Right there is my baby brother's channel about beating an addiction and living your best life. It's a beautiful thing to do. You appreciate it so much more. So if you or somebody you know has any sort of problem uh, with an addiction um, or su su any substance, please check out The Lifeboat. Um, it's a live show. It happens twice a day, 5 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock at night, West Coast time, all right? Um, or six, or uh, 
nine and nine, or no, eight and eight on the on the East Coast. Um, there are more videos right here. Listen, I appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me. There's a million things you could have done today, but yeah, watch this. I thank you for it. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this, this was Chase the Heat.